Like a lot of people, TV shows and detective novels gave me my first real glimpse into crime. The idea of studying the human mind to help solve criminal cases had me hooked. I saw a tiny newspaper article in the corner of the Daily Telegraph, the headline of which caught my eye, and it said, no room for amateur sleuths. And it was about a new course that was being started in a brand new discipline called investigative psychology. And for me, that was one of those nuclear moments that it sets you on a completely different pathway. So I gave up my job and became one of the first people to study this emerging new field of psychology. Since then, I've worked in universities and with police forces all around the world, helping to bridge the gap between practice and research, applying the principles of investigative psychology for the interpretation of offender behaviour and understanding how psychology can be effectively applied to support police investigations and the criminal justice system. The challenge we've set ourselves is to say, OK, can we model human behaviour? Is it possible to look at the actions of an offender and use that to predict the type of person they are? That's quite a, a, you know, a powerful idea. If we were able to do that, then that's really something that could be of a huge amount of use to the police. And that's how I look at a crime scene. A series of decisions taken in a particular context, always asking the question, what can the way the offender behaved in this context tell us about their background, their characteristics, and the way they might behave in other contexts? Almost two years ago now, I took on the challenge of setting up PIA, the Policing Institute for the Eastern Region here at ARU. It's an extraordinarily challenging time for police, from the well-publicised budget cuts to new forms of criminality with approaches shifting away from tackling volume crime reduction to managing threat, risk, harm and vulnerability. For me, this only reinforces the need for research institutes like PEER, where there are opportunities for collaboration in evidence-based research that addresses some of these emerging challenges. PEER is all about collaboration with practitioners and agencies across all sectors as well as other universities, policing networks and national bodies. And that's what feels so special up here, and at ARU too. It's about the real world focus. Using research to create real impact on policing practice and ultimately, the safety of our communities. <laughs>